did 14 state attorney generals step forward demanding indictments against Clinton and Obama? No, that's not true. The story was published by a liberal satire website that tries to educate gullible Trump supporters and Republicans about the need to actually click and read links before sharing or liking them in order to avoid being embarrassed by fans of the site later. All the events described in the article are not real. The story originated from an article published on June 11, 2019 titled 14 State Attorney Generals Step Forward Demanding Indictments Against Clinton and Obama which opened. Quote, Attorney Generals from 14 states have come together to file a motion with the Justice Department to have Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama indicted for their crimes. According to Alan Dershowitz, there are plenty, Obama obtained a warrant and had people investigate a presidential campaign. He can't just do that. And Clinton? Clinton is guilty of more crimes than the Justice Department has laws. When asked to cite specific laws he'd like to see the duo of democriminals charged with, he declined, adding that he would gladly serve on the grand jury to indict when the time comes. End quote. Users on social media only saw this title, description and thumbnail. Quote, 14 state attorney generals step forward demanding indictments against Clinton and Obama the truth is right there in front of you. End quote. The site is part of the America's Last Line of Defense network of satire websites run by self-professed liberal troll Christopher Blair from Maine and his partner in crime John Prager along with a loose confederation of friends and allies. Blair has been in a feud with fact-checking website Snopes for some time now and has also criticized other fact-checkers in the past who labeled his work, fake news, instead of satire. In reaction to this he has recently rebranded all his active websites and Facebook pages so they carry extremely visible disclaimers everywhere. Every site in the network has an about page that reads, in part, quote, about satire before you complain and decide satire is synonymous with comedy, satire sati, renowned use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices, particularly in the context of contemporary politics and other topical issues. Everything on this website is fiction. It is not a lie and it is not fake news because it is not real. If you believe that it is real, you should have your head examined. Any similarities between this site's pure fantasy and actual people, places, and events are purely coincidental and all images should be considered altered and satirical. See above if you're still having an issue with that satire thing. End quote. Articles from Blair's sites frequently get copied by real fake news sites who often omit the satire disclaimer and any other hints the stories are fake. Blair has tried to get these sites shut down in the past but new ones keep cropping up. That happened again with this story as you can see here. Quote, 14 state attorney generals step forward demanding indictments against Clinton and Obama. Fight for America attorney generals from 14 states have come together to file a motion with the Justice Department to have Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama indicted for their crimes. According to Alan Dershowitz, there are plenty. Obama obtained a warrant and had people investigate a presidential campaign. He can't just do that. End quote. Blair and his operation were profiled by The Washington Post on November 17, 2018 by Eli Saslow. Quote, nothing on this page is real. How lies become truth in online America November 17 The only light in the house came from the glow of three computer monitors, and Christopher Blair, 46, sat down at a keyboard and started to type. His wife had left for work and his children were on their way to school, but waiting online was his other community, an unreality where nothing was exactly as it seemed. End quote. If you are interested in learning more about Blair and the history of his sites, here is something to get you started. Quote, the ultimate Christopher Blair and America's last line of defense reading list, lead stories story updated, check for updates below. Yesterday Eli Saslow at the Washington Post wrote a fantastic article about Christopher Blair, a man from Maine who has been trolling conservatives and Trump supporters online for years and occasionally even made a living out of it. End quote. If you see one of his stories on a site that does not contain a satire disclaimer, assume it is fake news. If you do see the satire disclaimer it is of course also fake news. NewsGuard, a company that uses trained journalists to rank the reliability of websites, describes Bustatroll.org as quote, 